Hi everybody, this is Warboss Fitz, and we are here today with something special. We have a new player, Scott. Hello. Hi. He is a 40k gamer that is learning how to play OPR, and so we're throwing some stuff on the table. We got Battle Brothers versus the Custodian Brothers, and we're going to show you how it works out. I'm a 40k refugee is what I am. <laughs> he's, he's a 40k refugee, yes. So these are the armies we are going to do. I have the Custodian Brothers out in my wonderful hand-drawn list. And then the Battle Brothers with all of those set up. So let's let's get the game going. So first we're going to roll for deployment type. Roll one dice. We're going to go on chart number one and then roll another dice. Number six. So we ended up getting flank assault. We already have the four objectives on the board from last night's game. So we're just going to keep rolling with that. Scott's going to go set up over there. And then I'm going to set up over in this corner. All right, so we're going to put our blood brothers on those. Because they're assaulting. Right. And, so and I'm going to close the garage door because people are rolling around here. Not my job. Let me tell you about this really cool thing, Fitz. It's called WD-40. Yeah. It's amazing. One day I'll know what that is and do it. <laughs> oh, and also in the army, the, there is the Blood Death Brothers, which, which are your assault squad there. Uh, they can also ambush. Oh. Yep. So that whole section there, they can also ambush. I forgot those were in the army. Five. Okay. So yeah, ambush is just treat it like deep striking. The the 40k used to have. I miss the scatter dice. Yeah. Yeah. I do miss the scatter dice. I mean they never help me. <laughs> Ever. But I miss them. Um Where's my Blood Master brother? He is going to be the character attached. He's the one oddball out. This guy here with the backpack. Okay. And then these guys are in squads of 10? They're one big squad of 10. Yep. Oh, this is one squad. Yep. And then the special weapons, the uh, energy fists. I've made some boys. Those are the guys that have like the punching dagger. Okay. And who, who made these SDS? Uh, those are made by uh, Crimson Steel Mechworks. You feel like a lot cooler in person than they did on the video. <laughs> okay, so I think I got my units divided up. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have two of the Blood Brothers on my skimmers, deep striking or ambushing, ambushing mm -hmm. later in the game. And then I'm going to have my close combat people ambushing later in the game. Now, since my blood brothers have Furious, I want them to be my main assault unit. So I'm going to get them close to this. I'm going to have you guys in ambush reserve with these guys. This is all up in the spaceship right now waiting to drop. Yep. And then I'm going to start out on that because why wouldn't I? Right. And then in OPR, objectives are sticky. Oh, okay. So, like, this will be your objective, but if you walk off of it, it is still your objective. But you, okay. like, like you have to start the game, like, you have to tag it, and then you can run off. All right. In my head, and correct me if I'm wrong, no Congo lines. Right. Everything has to, the, the, the unit coherency has to be a nine-inch kind of circle. Okay. So that's, that's kind of like the, the way they get around Conga lines because you could have a 20 man unit and if you spaced them, they could cross the whole board. They don't like that. Okay. Are you set up? No, you're not set up. No, I'm set up. This is it. Okay, and those are your. These are the ambushers. Yep, I have. So the, they're up in the spaceship too. Yep, three destroyer. Well, two destroyers and a master destroyer in ambush. All right, what's next? I think we're ready. All right, next, we are deployed now. Let's now go. we now we roll to see who goes first. <laughs> and a four. See, see what I told you? See, see what I told you? <laughs> I told you! Alright, well, we'll see if your dice curse pans out. So, 
Now, everybody on my, my side has normal movement. So you can move six and shoot or 12 and just, that's a rush or a 12 would be a charge if you run into base contact. So what we're gonna do here is we're just going to rush to here. And that's it. Now it goes over to you. Well, um, I'm going to... Yeah, we all do have some guns, but they're only 12 inch range. So mm -hmm. nothing. But my, my... You are 24. With so, a fusion rifle going 12. So I can move six and shoot. Yep. And that's what we want to do. Okay. Watch me not be in range now. Well, now you measure the range and. Yeah, everybody else is in range, but the fusion gun is not here. It's 16. Okay. So now, to shoot. Four guns are going to shoot. You roll four dice on your quality. All right. These are my standard Battle Brothers. Yep. Quality three, so I need threes. Now, the heavy rifle is AP1. No, no, mine, mine, mine are AP7. Oh, AP7. Okay, AP7. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So we're going we're gonna to negate six of that. <laughs> So with the heavy shield, we get AP minus one. So it would go down to just regular AP zero, saving on a two. We still take one wound. How many? Eight toughness two. is wounds. Toughness is wounds, yep. How many toughness They have do they three have? apiece. Okay. So this guy here will say, there's his, down to two. Okay. So then, do you surrender? Uh, I don't know, awful scary. So next, we are going to do our next group of shields. Boop. 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 And your turn. We move 12. Can't shoot. Okay, so uh, oh, we'll get these guys over where we need them to be. We're going to run them 12. We're not arguing about millimeters. And then this one, this squad here, we are going to go 12. Yeah, there's, don't argue about millimeters here. It's OPR. We do this for fun. Can we, we can pre-measure before we move, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, moving up and down hills. All right. Just add the inch to it. So that one is an inch tall, so you would go... So I'd only be able to move five inches forward and shoot. Yep. While all of this is going on, the dice goblin is over there playing a game with the zombies. Say hi, Evan. Hi. Now some brilliant planning on my part. I put the plasma rifle, the short one, in the back. Or fusion rifle. That's all right. I should have thought that out differently. Am I 24? We are 24. Yep. I need, I need better than three or better. Three, yep. four, five, or six. Roll the dice. So you got three hits. I like it. So, again, with the shield, AP, they ignore the AP, and they are going to save because they have a two-up save. So then it goes over to me, and we are going to have our Flamer sisters run to the edge of the building here. And then you... Yeah, I you move everything. Everything else of yours is in, a, is in ambush. So we're going to have this group. We're just going to hang out by this bush here. And that's it. That's turn one. That was not fatiguing at all. Exactly. Now we go into turn number two. And in turn two, this is where ambush... Bleh, and in turn two, this is where the ambushers can come in. And the way you determine the order is whoever the person is to go next gets to ambush first. And then, like, you would ambush first, then I would ambush, then you would ambush, and I would ambush until we're done with ambushers. And then we move the regular units? Well, no, this is just to deploy the ambushers. And do you have to deploy them on turn two? No, you could deploy them on turn two or turn... Well, you could deploy two, three, or four. They can't take an objective on the turn they come in. So if you deploy on four... So you can't hold them off and then, like, yeah, pop on all the exactly. objectives. Okay, that's a good rule. So you could come in anywhere outside of nine inches of my unit. So you could drop in, theoretically, right on top of that objective. And Okay, and since I have three, I have to do my ambushes first? Well, it's because you go next. Because you were the person that was done first, that means you get to activate first on the next turn. Oh, and so... so you deploy your... Your first ambusher deploys first, and then... Then I deploy one, and then you deploy your next, and I deploy my next, and then you deploy your next. Okay. And okay. then you get to do your ambushers. You have the first activation of turn two. Um, now, my leader uh -huh. is considered part of this unit because yes. he's with this unit. Okay. Now, we are going to make Fitz turn around. 
<laughs> or Fitz is gonna bunch a bunch of exterminators on me back here, which is probably a safer place for his terminators than over here where everything's happening. All right, so you bring your first one in and it will go bloop, nine inches away. There we go. I'm All right, so what about so here? Are we nine inches away there? It should be. It, well, yeah, we'll move that one way. Okay. All right, so that's your guy and then I'm gonna do my first ambusher. We are gonna put them back here. And then the custodians, the terminators, are beefy enough to where they are their own unit. Oh, so you've got three ambushes there. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, so next would be you, and just in the case there where they're inside the transport, it's just the transport itself that comes in. Can I pile the men all on top of it? Well, I mean, yeah, you can. You can target some? <laughs> but only if it's like two. Um, okay. I guess... And I gotta go nine inches away from you. Yeah. You could be more, but nine inches is the closest you can get. I'm sorry. That's fine. I'm sorry, Fitz. I didn't mean it. <laughs> so the squad of five's inside there. So then my master destroyer is gonna come down right there. I don't like you anymore. <laughs> okay, and then I got my last squad. Yep. Or I can hold him back till next turn. You could. I'm gonna hold him back till next turn. I wanna, okay. I wanna toss a few more dice around and see how it goes. All right, I'm gonna bring in the third ambusher right there. So now we officially start turn number two. I've got you exactly where I want you. <laughs> I have you surrounded from the inside. Do you surrender? Not quite yet. Okay. So you finished last turn first, so that means you get the first activation this turn. My ambushers, I can now move. Yeah. Like normal. Like normal, yep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Now I can move my speeder and then move my guys off the speeder. Well, it's a separate activation. Your speeder is one activation and then the guys inside would be a separate activation. Okay, okay. And my speeder can move. It's got fast. Yep, so it can go eight inches and shoot or 16 and not shoot. And what does Strider do? Strider means you ignore difficult terrain. So I can move eight inches and shoot, you said? Yep. Jonathan says you don't look like you're doing Oof. like charging the big scary guy. Okay. And he's gonna shoot. Okay. There's a minigun at that guy. All right, it says two times minigun, 24 right. inches, attack four. So that means I get eight dice. You get eight dice, yep. Okay. I need all threes or higher in the box. Can you do this for me? Yeah. I think I gave him a curse to your son. I'm well, sorry. You got, well, you got six hits. Okay, and then saving on a two. We're good. Right. Yep, so now it goes to my activation. <clears throat> and I'm gonna be cocky with that one over there. We're just gonna let that one sit for now. Okay, so over here, you're gonna have the girls turn. You're already 10 inches away. We're just gonna set them up like that. And then fire. So they got flame or... All right, so they have Reliable and Blast on the Flamers. Reliable means they hit on a two. So whatever their quality is, they start on a two. Any minus and negatives from there starts on that two. And then Blast means however many number of hits I get. So I'm going to take three shots. Let's say I get two hits. Okay. Each of those turns into three hits. So instead of using a template, this is how they get around it. Okay, but so if, if you're Reliable, you're two. Right. But let's say I was in cover. Right. You would still get the minus from the cover, then. Well, no, in cover, in one-page rules, it doesn't do the hit dice. It does your, your defense dice. You get plus one defense. because. So you, I would still get a benefit. Yep. Okay. That's different, but okay. Yep. Right. Well, they hit on a two. Normally, they would hit on a four because they're reliable to hit on a two. So we got three hits. So that turns into nine hits. And then my guys are defensive. Three. Yep. So it'll be nine dice looking for a three. Because there's no AP on the on the flamer. Okay. I got this. I don't got this. Ooh, so you lose four with that. So that is not enough to cause a morale test. If you take half of your models, if you are at half, that's time for a morale test. Now, do I just randomly pick four guys or... 
So now for casualties, yep, you just pick whatever four you want. Okay, well, I want to shoot back at you, so we're going to start. I don't think I have shooting with these guys. Do no, you don't have any shooting with those guys. Well, we want to charge you, so right. we want to just take them from the back. But I brilliantly put my commander in back. That's fine. Well, remember, it, move on my whenever you charge, you only have to touch with one model and okay. then everything else. Oh, okay. Yeah, you touch with one and then my guys, like, pile into you three inches. Okay. Okay, so it's not as bad as I was thinking. Okay. Okay, so now it's my activation. Now it's your activation. Oh, uh, I see what you did there. Do I go for them and let him have his chance, or do I go for him and... Okay. Well, let's see the way the activations work at one-page rules. Now these, these girls are done for the rest of the turn. If they can't do anything else unless you come and fight them, they might be able to fight you back. So I don't have to deal with them so just you, a second. So just a second, you don't have to deal with this. Just like over here, he doesn't have to deal with your, your speeder. Thing. So he will have to deal with the squads coming out. And I want to have the chance to do that before you get them in the vehicle. Right? Right. If if somehow this guy charges in and kills the vehicle, then when the vehicle dies with guys inside, they have to take a dangerous terrain check, which is kind of like in 40k. Uh, you roll one dice for each of them, and for every one, you lose a guy. I can roll a lot of ones. And then they come out, and they are stunned for the rest of the turn, because the vehicle blew up around. Now, can I shoot and charge? If we're using the advanced rules, yes. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and put the advanced rules in there for the advanced, or for assault. So how does, how does that their work? movement work with assaulting and shooting? Does it change, or do I still get my six, or how does it You how still does get your six. Um, just You only get the six because you're coming out of a transport. Normally, you'd still get the 12. But you would start the, start the movement, you would shoot, and then whatever's left over, you would charge into. So if you're fighting... A squad with the shooting, you like. There's a potential you kill enough people to where the assault would fail. So you'd still kill them with shooting, and then you'd just kind of rush over there and just stand where you would be standing if you did the charge. You go hi. If you shot them all, right. If you him. if you shot enough people back okay. that your charge wouldn't have made it, you still do the move, and you just kind of hang out right there. Okay, but. So, in this case, where it's a single guy, you're not going to have that problem. No, 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 but I, everybody hit sentry. Yep. My fusion rifle is what I really need to hit. Yes. Because that messes with the armor. Yes. All right. I got this. Not really, but kind of, but the big one hit. <laughs> okay, so you got two rifles and the fusion rifle hit. Yes. So, for the two rifles, we were looking for a two. We're good there. And then the fusion rifle is AP3 because he has the, yeah, the fusion rifle is AP, or is AP4. It's AP4. AP4. Nine, so, you're trying to cheat. I caught you. <laughs> so the fusion rifle cuts right through his armor, saving on a six. Oh, hold on, let me redo that. I can't tell which one that was. There we go. He fails. So it's damage three. He's going to take three wounds and he comes with six. So now... Since he's a half armor, or since he's a half health, he has to take a morale test. And in order to take a morale test in one-page rules, you just have to roll your quality, which for the destroyer is a three. And he fails. Now, normally he would just be pinned, but he has the fearless rule, just like all of your guys. He has a four-up reroll. He's good. He's good. Yes, you get to attack first because you started the fight. And you don't have any special rules that change that. No, no, I don't have any special rules to do that. Okay, so these are Blood Brothers. I've got furious. What does that do for me? Fur furious <laughs> means that whenever you roll to attack, if you roll a six, you get an extra hit. Okay. Five close combat weapons, attack one. So I got five dice. Yep, you got five dice. And I got to do my three. And six is our extra. Yep. All right, so you get five hits. Do you surrender yet? <laughs> well, we'll see what happens here. So he's going to save on a three. If he takes two more. Okay, so he's got one left. Okay. So the destroyer, he has six attacks. Hitting on a four. This hurts already. But <laughs> two or hits. Or not. Two hits, and it is AP four, so you're going to save on a six. Okay, right. so I lose two guys. So you lose two guys. I took two wounds from that, plus the ambush in there. I have to take another morale test. Not the ambush, the, the assaulting. He fails, and... He, he passes with the reroll. So now the end of combat, because you didn't wipe out what you were fighting, you just have to move backwards 
an inch and just try to keep them next to each other. All right, so we're back to here. So now it goes to my activation and we're gonna go over here and this squad is going to charge in there. So we got three attacks a piece hitting on a three. Yeah. Okay, so six hits and these are all AP four because they're carrying those spears. Okay, so I gotta get six sixes. Yep. No problem. All yep. sixes, all sixes, all sixes. Not bad. You got one that stuck around. I'm not dead. So now you have your one guy that's left. Now he fights. Hitting on a three. Your regular stuff. Any misses. Okay, and I'm going to have to do a morale check before we even move anybody. Right. And that's on my quality, which is three. Yep. Okay. But you are fearless as well because you are So a this is a mode. four plus. Yes. Okay, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. Run away! So that squad goes. And then after combat, because we kill the target, we get like an overrun of three inches. And that's now completely yours. Well, that, it's at the end of the turn is when you figure out objectives. So that would be mine at the end of turn number two. Okay. I can shoot through my units, right? How does that work? Well, in, in one, there's a few different ways to do line of sight in, in one page rules. They, there's all the different kinds. There's like 2D line of sight where you can't shoot through your own stuff. There's volumetric line of sight. But I, coming from 40K, true line of sight is what I use. So this squad, yes. I'm going to say if guy moves over a quarter inch, they can shoot there. All right. So fusion rifle is the gray dice. Go ahead and roll. Look for three. Excellent. Hey. All right. We got three hits and then one fusion rifle hit. So let's just go ahead and give the fuse rifle first. It's gonna die. Most important thing, I need to take this over there and get this out of my way. <laughs> We're done with this guy. That's right. I'm out of here. A hero from the founder is, is fallen. All right, we're back to this. So, let's see, next activation. We're just gonna send the squad forward. Put them there. So that goes your activation. Oh yeah, you have no fear with those guys. Right. Well, they do have shooting at short range. It's like they have they have pistols. So going six and shooting is not as good as them getting into close combat. Okay, so we've done these, we've done these, done those. So all that's left is all those. left is these guys over here. Die, girls. Had it. Well, remember these have not gone yet. So you have you should have brighter. Oh yeah, flying. Flying means you ignore everything as far as terrain goes. So. This is part of the part of the, the alternating activations. If you charge here, since they've already gone, they can shoot you. So if I kill them, all right. But because I back up anyways after combat, they'll still be able to shoot me no matter what. Right. So we want to kill them. Yep. So they don't shoot me. Exactly. Things don't okay. get locked in combat in OPR. So we are 12, 12, 12 inch movement, right? Yep. 12 inch jumping movement. Yep. And you said just one guy's got to really make it. Just one guy's got to make it. Yeah, you're all within, and then everybody. And then if you were still out, like this one here, it can poop. It gets three inches to go back into you. I got one, well, two. Right. So I got two energy fists. Well, let's say your energy fists are still there, just just because, because the, you know, optimistically you'd remove those last because they're your stronger ones. All right. So four of these would be your 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 energy fists. The other two would be the heavy close combat weapon. Okay, so, and the energy fists have attack two, so I have eight energy yep. fist attacks. And plus your your death, uh, what is it called, death master, he should have an energy fist as well. Okay, I'm tall. Okay. Slow brain, smooth, smooth brain, smooth brain. <laughs> so that's that's my energy fist for these mm -hmm. guys. Okay, and then I will have, so I will have two close combat weapons, which are two attacks each. Yep. So that means I have four of those. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna make those black. Okay, now we're going to our, our, our blood master brother. That sounds so metal. All right, so he's got an energy fist, two attacks, eight before. So we're gonna get two more of these. Yep. All the pukey dice. Yep. All right, that's what we have. And then looking at the rules here, fearless hero tough, Furious and Furious. So if you get sixes, they're going to be extra hits. And then with War Chant, this model nearly gets Furious. If you already had Furious, they get extra hits from Furious on a mon modified of a five or six. So you get extra hits on fives or sixes. 
So if you live after this, I've done something horribly wrong. <laughs> right. I've already I've I've gone to my army list and just kind of wiped those sisters off. All right. Threes. Yep. Hit on the three. Five and sixes are even extra. <laughs> Did you want to do it? I told you. I told you. I told you. However, my, my, my your close combat weapons did really good. Right, your close combat weapons did good. And one plus, of my fists. Yep, plus one fist. So it was, it'll be six hits with the close combat weapons. And then with the fist, it'll be five, six, seven. So let's go ahead and do the fist just to get out of the way. Seven on a six. We fail them all, but our sisters have a holy shield or something like that where we get an additional save of a six. So we do save one, but that's still enough to wipe them. So, boop, 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 and then you get three inches to go wherever you want. Well, also, as you've seen them in close combat, they rip through armor. And just a suggestion, they are the lowest armor on the board. So if you went after something else... And you also and you also have your other your transport to come in, so you could just oh yeah, yeah oh yeah oh yeah okay just, just throw that there right. I got a grudge against them <laughs> okay fair enough all right so I hold this one from the end of turn one so the squad is also going to go this way and there so that goes to well you're you're done with your activations right I'm done with my activations okay so now you got to move that other big guy too. Actually, both big guys. Yep, so this guy's going to go over here. I don't like anymore. And this guy is going to charge here. So for the destroyer, he gets six attacks on a three for four hits. And then you save on a six. Okay, because you have the AP4. Yep. I feel it. This is, this is where the game turns. Or not. Well, so you lose three. You still got two left over. They get to fight back. So I'm going to keep my fusion rifle guy. Yep. Because now we're thinking about that stuff. So they got two attacks each. Yep. Or no. One attack each. One yeah, attack each. These are your, these yep. your, your shooting guys. Yeah. Okay. One hit. Passes. Now I'm going to have to take morale save. Yep. Morale test on a three. And you're good. And we're good. So then over here, we just back up an inch. And then, that's it. And those guys, they have wish because they got jump packs. I just put that together in my head. Yep. Even though they don't have a model, I'm saying it's like a teleporter or something. Yeah, yeah okay. That okay. big old backpack does something. Slow on the uptake, but I got it. <laughs> these guys over here. They, they came from the spaceship above, just like these two good things came from. You know, yep. you see that spaceship way up there, and that spaceship has a little bit. And then turn number two. I hold this one, this one, and technically I still hold this one because you moved off of it. And then you Whoa, hold this wait, hold on. Explain that to me. I thought because I got that, then it would be mine afterwards. Well, no. Remember, it, it's at the end of turn. At the end of the turn end, these guys just ambushed, so they couldn't hold it on the turn they came in. So, if I, okay. 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 I got it. So, what I want to do, my ambush unit here and leave the skimmer here, and then I hold it at the end of the turn. Yes. And then I have those guys here. Mm -hmm. Or, I could do the same thing here, which yes. would force you to have to turn around there. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go there. Okay. But we're gonna go, like, one skin on the far end. <laughs> that's that's good, perfect. I'm gonna be way back here, so you're gonna have to move to come get me, mm -hmm. which is what I want you to do. And then when, and now, now I gotta move these guys out or no? No, no, they okay. they're still in there until they activate. Okay. And then like this, this is just the deployment. So neither of these is activated. These guys are inside. Okay. Yeah, they're good. They're right there. And so because you ended first, you get to activate first. Okay. Well, we're good because we got a grudge. Our inner dwarf is coming out. He is the leader. Yep. He's, he's, he's got the minotaur thing going on and the, and the big gold arm, and I'm afraid of him. <laughs> okay, so no we got the same way. thing we had set up last time. What did we have set up? We had we had ten of the the the, yep, the, the guys the fists. and then two of the regular attacks. Four of the regular attacks. And the regular attacks were the ones that really did all the work for me. Yeah, so you hit on the three and fives and sixes explode. I really should use a sonic commander. 
I have a problem with those two. Ho! Oh! Ho! Oh! I win, you lose, game over. Ho! Oh, let me just start throwing dice. Yeah, yeah, they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> and squish. And you get your three inches of movement. However, I do know that that was a mistake. Because you got a big chungus over there going, hey, what are you doing? In the immortal words of Monty Python. <gasps> Run away! <laughs> Again, with the alternating activation, since they've already gone, I don't have to worry about this towards the end. So I'm going to do something else while knowing that that is going to happen at the end. So let's yeah, do this. Yeah, but it's such a cinematic moment. It will be cinematic later. Don't right. you worry. I'm, I'm very worried, to be honest with you. Um, we could do that. But then we got this over here. We got that. Mm -hmm. The reason we did that yeah. means we have choices. So let's come back here, and then you're going to get to see the wrath of the shooting of this squad. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> two hits. Uh, two, two, three outs. How many wounds does that thing have? It's Tough. got six. How many toughness does it's, that it's have? It's got toughness six. Uh, what do you say, two? Yeah, just two. One. You, you take a whole whopping one. Oh, my turn. Yeah, your turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, well, we're going to get these guys out. Right. Oh, because you can't charge because they're done. Yeah, they're done. So you're not going to blow up my vehicle with them in it. Nope. So I don't need to do that right now. Yeah, see, now you started to get alternating activations. I thought there was a charge coming after that and, like, you were going to blow my guys up inside nope. of that, so. No, because you were just, you just a hair out. See, see that skid on them thing. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> um, we're going to shoot these guys. Okay. Because these guys aren't going to be long much longer, so let's get some mileage out of them. All right. Make you make decisions. Okay, go ahead and move. So I can move six inches and then shoot. Yep. Make you, make you work for it. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. Well, the important one hit. Okay. So who are you shooting? The, the destroyer? Well, yeah, because... Okay, just make sure. It makes no sense. And it fails. So, boom, he's down to three. And... He passes his, his, his morale test. Wait, wait, why'd you just roll that morale test? Because you, you hit him with a fusion rifle. Deadly three. He took three wounds. So so now he's down to three, which right. is half. Which okay. is half. Okay. Yep. okay. Now, are all, all destroyers this nasty, or is no. it just the custodian destroyers? Just, just the custodians are this nasty. The Battle Brothers destroyers are about half of what they are. Uh, they come in a squad of three as well. So in the Custodian Brothers Army, these guys would be the equivalent of destroyers in the Battle Brothers Army. And those are Giga Chad destroyers. These are Giga Chad destroyers. Yep. Okay. Speaking Giga of, Chad. yeah, Giga Chad, yes. <laughs> you should use Giga Chad a lot and drive your dad nuts with that term. So what we are going to do is we're going to have this squad come in here. Ah, the tech next. So we have three attacks apiece, nine attacks, hit on three. So we ended up with five hits. AP, AP four, so save on six. No problem. Yeah, you got it. No problem. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. All right, so now it is your activation. All right, I'm going to have these guys shoot at him if I'm in range. They're yeah, not within range. So we're gonna move up six, and then we'll be in range. Because fusion rifles are our friend. Mm-hmm. Did you die? Painfully. Oh, you hit with everything. Okay. Okay, so we'll start off with the fusion rifle. Fail. Blech. You die. You die now. <clears throat> so back up to the wide shot. The only unit I have left, well, I got two units left. So let's do, let's do this to protect this objective. We're just gonna go out to here and shoot you there. Thank Power you. of pistols. So, ha ha! One hit, saving out of three. Yeah, we're good. Uh, you're good. We're good. Because I've got a fusion rifle and you don't. Yep, so. You're even gonna stay there. I don't even know. All right, so they're just gonna stay there and shoot. <laughs> I mean, come on now. Hey, um, look at that. Everything hit. There we go. Could we do that, but on this board? Yes, we could do, we could do another zombie game. 
Daddy's hair goes <laughs> on a new zombie games for stupid bodies. All right, so At you, least you have hair. Fusion rifle, so that's going to be one. And then the rifles, one guy takes a wound. So we are still above half. We're going to have two models left. One guy is just wounded. I don't surrender yet. Ooh. And ooh. So now over here, the master destroyer. Slam. Yeah. So now we're to the point where I get to teach you what fatigue is. Because you've already fought in close combat this turn, any other close combat's in the same turn, you only hit on a six. But I got combat drugs. Okay. <laughs> so six attacks at AP4, hitting on a three. Ooh. So I only hit with four of those. And then I have four or three stomps at AP1. So two of those. You got to stomp the fat guy? Yeah, he's ultra giga. Chad, he ain't. I, okay, I, you, so, it, so it is. All right, so it was three and two. So you got three at a six and two at a four. All right, three out of six. Mm, oh, we got one. Okay, so there's two and then two out of four. Two out of four. Two more. So okay. you lose four. Damn. Okay, and then when you're in combat, you consolidate forward three inches like that. And so you got the two fists and your commander with a fist. So it'll be. So we've got the fists are tap two. So I've got six. Yep. Attack twos. Okay, and then you're gonna hit on six because you are fatigued. I don't like that rule. <laughs> well, you had a grudge. So you got one. No, I got two. Thank you, you very two? much. Okay, I didn't see the two. Okay, you got Did two. You try and cheat like that. You gotta watch Fitz. He's always trying to pull That's the fast right. one. I'm nothing but cheating around here. So I save on a six. So I take two. Which they do. Do they do three? No. No, no, they just do one. Yeah, I'm thinking fusion again. No, what am I thinking of? Fusion. Yeah. Fusion. So you need to take a morale test on a three with a fearless reroll. We're so good. good. So then just back up an inch. All right, so now it's all my stuff. Now you got that to do. And unfortunately, that means you're going to go first. Next, Next turn. turn. Yep. We have four attacks, so we got eight. Ha ha! All of them. That you tarnished. Gold wannabe. Save it on a two. We're good. Never mind. No, no. You guys are going to hop out. I'm going to get on here so we can fight this one. This is mine. No, it's mine. No, mine. Ah. Okay. Yep, four rifles, four fusion. What's the unit that has all fusion? Huh? What's the unit that has all fusion? I'll be a specialist. Because I need like all units of those. So there you go. You got three rifles and a fusion. Yes. Rifles. So we're gonna lose. We're gonna take two, and then the fusion is gonna fail. So the rifle, bip bip, and the fusion, bip. Last guy needs to take morale test. Oh wait, oh, doing the box. And then we got twin minigun love. Oh, cuz they're dead. There you go. Bring out your dead. <laughs> Okay, so I missed one. Yeah, I missed one. You got nine saves. Seven saves. Yeah, I like nine though. Oh. So he takes two. How many? What's his toughness? Uh, toughness is three. So he's got one wound he's left. Got one wound left. Morale Ten test. Minutes. Fail. Fearless. Fearless. He's good. Yeah, he's not doing too hot, but he's not a one wound. Yeah, we're going to turn four. Okay. So before we go into it, let's talk and let me, let me tell you how I see things and you agree with me or not. Okay. These guys are dead. Uh, maybe. And that's all. There's not a whole lot they can do. I have a very limited chance of shooting these guys off. Uh-huh. These guys are probably... A, you're gonna I, end up with that. I can only attack one target with these guys. That's right. So, so there's that two means guys. I have to choose one or the other, and whichever one is still alive is still gonna contest this. Over here, if you yeah, kill him, dead. yeah, if you kill him, you're gonna take it. And then over here, what you could do here is you can do an assault action, shoot at them, charge them, and then if you kill them, you can boop under that. But you go first. Yes. So you can mess up all my evil plans. 
I don't have any yet, but if I did. Well, we're gonna do this just because I'm gonna be anticlimactic and do this first. Ha <laughs> ha! So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We got five hits. Well, poop. And then your commander is toughness three. So it takes three moves to kill him. So you got two guys and then you go into the commander. So how many saves do I have to make? What do we say? Five. Five. And we're only on. You're looking for six. Yeah. I don't like him. So you made one. So that means the two guys are dead and your commander is alive with one wound. He gets to fight back. Yeah. With a fist. Yep. And he's got two attacks, right? Yep. Hey, he hit once. One hit. Save it on a six. Fail. So I take wound. So now you're down to two wounds. Two. Toughness. Right. So you need to take a morale, morale test. Because, yep. Now I need to take a fearless check. Yep. That's a four? Yep, that's a four. You're good. So at the end of all that... This guy backs up an inch, and then your commander is is there. Staring each other down. Yep. Which now, because of the way alternating activations work, remember, he is done. And this guy can just saunter back on there and say, this is mine. Wow. Wait, now it's my turn. Yep, now it's your turn. Okay, now, I feel like this is a foregone conclusion. Okay. This can be interesting. Okay. But if I don't do that, I get you the chance to take the initiative of that scenario. So I think I'm going to start there. All right. And we're just going to shoot. Actually, yeah. So over here, shoot. we're going to do an assault action, shoot, and then charge. So we're going to do the shooting first. So we've got four, four. rifles and one fusion. Yep. I need more fusion. <laughs> more fusion. Oh, that's a good roll. There you go. So you got all four rifles. So let's do rifles first. Got to fail one fusion. He passes the fusion. So now this guy's down to one, and then you charge in. And you said those guys are toughness three. Yep. So one. Yep. I'm gonna go so good for me, but yeah, we'll see. No, no, it's just it's not. Right, so you got three hits. Okay. I fail one, so you kill a guy. And then the other guy's attacks. We got three hits. Saving on a six. That's because you got the speary things. Yep. So you lose two? No, I lose three. Oh yeah, you lose three. Mm -hmm. Brain no work. So then morale test for you. You good? So that over there is complete. Uh, let's go over here. We're going to have this squad here. They are going to jump into the spear. So we got nine attacks on a three. Oh! Uh, four hits. Ah, cool. Uh, enough. Yeah, four hits. My defense is two. Yeah, your defense is two AP four that makes it a six. Oh. <laughs> I was happy for a moment. Sorry. So how many hits did you give me? Four. Four. Way to steal Christmas bits. <laughs> <laughs> so you pass one, you take three, which means you're still at half. So time for a morale test. You're good. Put a dice on him because it really doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter at this moment because there's nothing else we could do this 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 game to them. So now it is your turn. All right, so they went. Yep. These gotta go. Yep. And that's gotta. He's go. gotta go, and then this guy over here has gotta go too. So you can save him for last. We know what he's doing. So what? Since I've already activated them, and them, the ones that have activate left is that one. And that one. So if you kill this one before it activates, I, I lose a whole activation. Right, which is what I'm thinking. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're going to go with the fusion thing. So, yeah. Okay, the standard. Okay. There you go. Rifles. Rifles kill them. <laughs> so, bloop. Ow. Stab me. 
Okay, so all that leaves me left with is that guy over there. And he's just gonna fight back. With the box cars? Yeah, so we're just looking for sixes. So this guy, nothing. Those guys, something. Something. Save. Saves. That was it. We tie combat. This guy over here. That's the one. Do do. There. No. What? That's not dramatic. <laughs> but that's the win, though. Oh yeah. Never mind. I won. There you I go. win. Yeah. Let's go over the table. So he still has these to activate, but probably not gonna take all them all out. So that is contested. No, that's true. That is custodians. This is the Battle Brothers, and then the Battle Brothers take this one for a Battle Brother win. Yay! Yay! So, Scott, that was your first game of OPR. How do you feel about it? I'm not completely drained and wasted. This is amazing. <laughs> if I didn't have to take my daughter to college, we'd do another one. Yep. So, yeah, that is, that, that's how Grimdark Future works. And we, we, we like to have fun lists, not mean lists. Right. I can do this now. And I'm going to be printing soon, too. There you go. We, we've got another successful conversion over to one-page rules. Thank you, Fitz. I've enjoyed this. No problem. It was More my pleasure. More importantly, thank you, Evan. Yes, thank you over there to the dice scrap. Wave. Wave. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll do it for us out here in the garage. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, and so... uh. I hope you guys are going to be having fun playing OPR wherever you are, and we'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.